Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be using a kit from the Plump Planner and the day that I'm filming this, it was actually a bit later at night because we had been out at the beach all day so I wanted to use a beachy kind of kit. So I pulled this one up and this one is from the Plump Planner. And because this is only a two page kit, I wanted to plump it up a little bit. Did you see what I did there? And I picked up these ones which is from a different shop called Philo Fabulous or Philo Fabulous and it was just a sheet of deco stickers, a sheet of foiled to-do boxes because you know I'm a bit of a foil addict and to match those I decided to grab the foiled headers as well as the foiled date dots which I actually didn't end up using, I just used the foiled date covers. I pulled in three types of washi, I mean I just kind of grabbed these out of my big stack of washi collection Um, they kind of go with the kit, they kind of don't but like I said, I've been out at the beach all day, so I'm very tired, I'm very sunstroke, and I'm very sandy still, so. The pen that I'm going to be using, again, is the Zebra or Zebra Z-Grip Erasable Pen in 0.7. I used this last time in my Plan With Me, and I've just really been enjoying using it. It's a really nice tip to write with, and it's really smooth. Okay, so to start off this plan with me, I'm going to be using some washi down at the bottom. I feel like it's been a long time actually since I used the washi at the bottom. I'm just flicking back through to see if I'd done that last time or not. No, I didn't. So yeah, I feel like it has been a long time since I put the washi along the bottom. But I just used two different strips and cut it with my little, my little card there, which I used to use my Hobbycraft card and then it was kind of a fail because every time I went to Hobbycraft I didn't have my card, it was in my planning box. So I switched it over and the card that I'm using is actually a knitting needle card because you can put the knitting needles through the little holes and it will tell you how big it is. But it works perfectly so that's what I use. And then at the top there I just put a strip of the red washi down and then the date covers on top. So then moving in day by day, I am going to, or I already have, washed all of the beach stuff that we used yesterday because I kind of brought it all in and it was just dumped in the corner near the washing machine. So I had to sort all that out this morning and hoover because we seem to bring the whole beach back sand wise when we come home. It's just kind of everywhere. So I will definitely need to hoover up all of the sand. And then I put down some of the foiled pineapple washi and put a Plan With Me Monday sticker, which is from Planning Roses. And then underneath there, I put an important header as I want to edit this plan with me this afternoon. And then I also obviously want to do the voiceover. Oh, the Plan With Me sticker kept peeling it up. It wasn't, it didn't like sticking onto that kind of washi. It was like a plasticky washi and it, it wasn't gonna stick. So I just got rid of the washi bit and then, um, just put down that I want to do the voiceover and then of course upload this video a bit later. So to block off some time for that I just used one of the full boxes from the kit and then right down at the bottom I used a half box and a cutting machine sticker which I believe is from Planning Roses, I will have to double check that um, as I've got some orders to pack up. I used um, these heart sunglasses from the deco sheet um, just to finish off the box at the bottom. And then moving on to Tuesday, I created a little to-do list by just using characters. I don't think I've done it this way before. I have seen other people do it on Instagram where they kind of use character stickers and put them all down in a line as if they're making a checklist and I thought it kind of looked cute. So I put a full box down in the middle just to block off that kind of time to do all of my housework in the morning and then at the bottom here I put down a notes section and I cut two pieces of the thinner washi and then I just used a half box which I flipped up onto its side as I need to write my camping list. We're off camping at the end of next week so I just need to write a list and then that makes me feel a little bit more organised and that I'm actually getting ready for the occasion. And the big book at the bottom there is just from the deco sheet as well. For Wednesday, I started with a make tea sticker, which is from the pop it tea sheet. And underneath there, I put an important header and a little half box with a PC pop it as I need to design. And I am designing all of the autumn stickers at the moment. So if there are any stickers that you are looking for or that you would like to see come to my shop, let me know down in the comments because obviously I'm going to be designing this week. So 
maybe I can get some of your ideas and suggestions to bring to the shop. And then underneath I put my today section and we are having a family camp meeting because we go camping as a big group family. There's, I can't remember how many of us are. there are, probably 45, maybe up to the 60 mark. It depends if everyone's coming or not. That's including all of our children as well. So we have a big family camp meeting and then I will need to share my video on Facebook. So I just use one of the Facebook poppets and then I need to water all of my plants in the house. Thursday I started with one of the full boxes right at the top and then I wanted to create my to-do section and I just made my own checklist. You guys have seen me do this before with some washi. You just kind of measure it to the length that you want and you trim the bottom off to give you the page, fl page? <laughs> page flag shape and then I'm just using my single hole punch to punch out some holes. To just write down everything that I want to do for my to-do section um, like I say I am going to be designing all week so definitely leave any suggestions or things that you want to see I also need to do a music CD for the car because we seem to be listening to the same CDs over and over and over like I have had it so I need to do another music CD so I put that down so I didn't forget because I've been saying that I've been wanting to do that probably for about two months now I also want to wash all of the sleeping bags ready for our camping trip at the end of next week so I put that down as well and I really do need to have a sticker desash because I'm getting a little bit overrun. Some of them are obviously used and they're leftovers and some of them are just things I've bought on a whim where you think that you need that in your life and then when it comes through the door it's really pretty but you're just you're never going to use it so I do need to have a bit of a sticker de stash and also my black bins are going out on Thursday night and then for Friday I put down a piece of washi and a half box onto its side as it's my new release day and this new release is going to be a mini kit it's a mini photo kit so if you are into those then that's what's going to be coming out on Friday and then here I need to markdown that I want to send my PR packages. My mind kind of spaced out a little bit and it ended up me writing PR packs send instead of send PR packages. I don't know, it was really late at night and like I say I had beach brain on so that's how that come out. And then underneath I want to restock the shop so I just use a half box with another cutting machine and then at the bottom there I took one of the deco stickers from the Filo Fabulous sheet and it's just her reading a book but kind of can be a planner so I just use that down to fill up that box at the bottom for me to film next week's plan with me. And then for the weekend we don't have that many plans. When I was filling this out I thought oh well I'll just you know put a couple of boxes down and make kind of a spread in the weekend instead of leaving it completely blank and I was like yeah I've got nothing. So we just flipped it over and for the sidebar I'm using my full box right at the top. Although I did have a conversation with my partner literally 10 minutes ago that he is probably going to be going off to the States again for work and he will be leaving on a Saturday. So yeah, I could have put that in if I had known. And then for my next week section, I just took one of the foil to-do boxes and just labeled that down on the side. I used another full box and then to finish off the gap at the bottom, I used one of the large deco stickers, which has got the really pretty beach bag with lots of beachy things filled in. And then here I'm just using some of the deco that comes with the kit. So this comes with the actual plump planner kit. VW van was pretty big, but I did manage to fit him in there. My dad's got a camper van, a VW camper van. So yeah, I really wanted to make sure I used all of the camper vans because I love camper vans. The rest of this deco was pretty big. The shorts kind of covered half of the August, so I just used the ice cream to cover the first part and everything else was pretty big. I did only have one full box left and the kind of gap, which I'm not even sure what you'd use this for, but the gap in this card was the perfect size to cut some patterned washi out. So I cut it down and then after I made the first cut I realised I'm on top of my planner like what are you doing? So the rest of the cuts weren't as deep so I had to cut it with my scissors but I just kind of panicked that I was on top of my planner and I was slicing through my whole entire planner but I wasn't it was absolutely fine. I just used those bits to kind of create a little bit more 
interest in the bottom half of the weekend because everything else was kind of filled out and I it just didn't look right to leave that bit blank and I could have used some of the larger deco that was just too big to use but then if we were going to be up to anything I would have had to have covered it with like a half box or something so I decided just to leave it blank but kind of jazz it up a little bit with some handmade patterned washi and then I was about to show you everything that I've got left and I literally had one header left and I was like that's silly just to leave that one header so I used it. But this is the finished spread, I hope you guys have liked it. I did use every sticker from the Plump Planner kit and I've still got some deco stickers to keep aside for another spread. If you did like this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe and if you hit the bell notification that way you won't miss on any of my uploads. I hope you all have a really lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye guys!